all right y'all we're back and today man we're going to be talking about marvel's capcom fighting collections going through some online issues already that's crazy though man because like i've actually been playing marvel's capcom fighting collection you know as of lately and um i noticed a few issues while trying to you know get some um you know some matches online though but it hasn't been anything major you know just you know stuff here and there like trying to wait like you're basically you're waiting too long and um some of the frame rates and stuff off from time to time that might be connection issues or maybe the other the other party that i'm playing against probably doesn't have fast enough internet or the computer's not strong enough it could be a number of things you know whether it be console or pc but yeah though man i, I noticed it a little bit but not too much though but i actually seen a other few influencers talking about it as well but it wasn't anything like major or what's not though but i got an article from game rant talking about marvel's capcom fighting collection having some online issues but before we get started with today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button notification bell like comment something on the video and let's get to it all right shout outs to gamerant.com and game Rant in general uh by let's see truman 2 all right capcom acknowledges marvel vs. capcom fighting collection arcade classic online issues so capcom has said this themselves so let's go down all right Capcom recently acknowledged issues regarding Marvel's Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launch, specifically the rough state of its online environment. Marvel's Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launched its digital version earlier this September, giving fans the opportunity to play a whole lineup of classic crossover fighting games. This collection includes a whole host of arcade classics, like the earliest entries in the Marvel's Capcom series, the game is currently only available digitally with physical versions coming later in November. So yeah, um, yeah, Capcom came out and said straight up, yeah, um, there's some problems with, you know, with the game and stuff online though, but that's to be expected. I've actually never like played a game at lunch online that didn't have problems, you know? Like we can go back to, and this is other companies, we can go back to to call of duty we can go back to halo man we can go back to uh, da, 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 street fighter what street fighter 6 i remember when free street fighter 6 first dropped um nba 2k don't get me started with nba 2k uh madden like yeah i feel like all video games go through that rough area you know that rough period of time you know whenever it first starts you know but but that's what updates are for that's what you know bugs and fixes and patches are for though but yeah, but let's get back to it. The reception to the Marvel vs. Capcom collection has been positive, and it contains not only several fighting classic games, but some modern conveniences. These include various filters, a hitbox viewer, and rollback netcode for fans to take each other on across the world. That's, that's dope, man. As you can see, anybody that's played it understands what's going on. Despite these positive points, fans have noticed some issues regarding the game's online settings, which is a bit of a sore spot for a collection built around this being a selling point. That's probably why the biggest reason why a lot of people bought this fighting collection, not only because it's nostalgia and classic, is because being able to play it online and not having to get on Fight K, not to have to get on emulators. Various players of the PC version are having trouble getting connected for matches. And while users have suggested turning on cross region matchmaking to get the best results, those playing the pc version surely want a proper fix soon you know what there is one thing i do notice though like i remember i switched from like i, I guess uh regions or whatever sub regions and then just did locally you know, locally or whatever domestically and stuff and it was perfectly fine like the experience was perfectly fine as far as finding matches and playing though i didn't have any issues now as far as like changing some of the settings of like the speed and and other things and stuff though that's that's here or there though like you changing the settings to your liking though but i don't know i'm not sure if it's the the regional thing if it's the regional thing that's causing the issues online maybe that's what the issue is who knows it could be anything though all right where where were we at capcom recently released a statement addressing the fans and their concerns in it capcom says it is investigating a search for a solution and that is has confirmed that the issue is only a problem for specific regions oh wow what region is that though 
Mm, that's a good question. While cross-region matchmaking does help address some issues with the game, it doesn't always guarantee a stable match. It might be a while before Capcom will release a patch or hotfix for this. So fans of Marvel's Capcom should keep an eye out for when it does. Still, it is good to know that the company is planning to fix the problems at some point. Marvel's Capcom online match issues on PC will be addressed as Capcom. Okay, so this is coming from Street Fighter. Okay, Street Fighter Twitter page. Let me see. Matter of fact, let's go to the, to the actual link. Okay. All right, yeah, this is from Street Fighter. Let's see, Marvel's Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics. We are currently confirming an issue where matchmaking is difficult in some areas. We are investigating the cause and working to resolve the issue. We apologize for the inconveniences. Before we check the comments, let's see if there's anything else I need to be reading. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll go back to that. Okay, according to a lot of players, the most popular version of Marvel's Capcom Collection is the Switch version. Really? I didn't know that. Likely because of its portable nature and the large casual audience for the title. The game is currently out on PC, PS4, and Nintendo Switch with an Xbox port of Marvel's Capcom Fighting Collection coming later in 2025. This isn't the only crossover fighting game collection that Capcom is putting out as the company is releasing a second retro fighting game collection next year. The Capcom Fighting Collection 2 package, Fire Heat, contains not only the two Capcom vs. SNK games, but also the return of classic fighting games like Power Stone. Hopefully the package won't be plagued by the same online issues that Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics is currently dealing with. I hope um, Capcom Fighting Collection 2 that's dropping in 2025 doesn't go through the same things. That's actually interesting. I didn't realize that Nintendo Switch probably was the most popular version for the fighting collection. I would have thought PlayStation was because PlayStation has so many users. And PC too, yeah. That's actually interesting though, man. As far as like uh, the online issues and stuff, I feel like that's going to be, that's going to be fixed. That's going to be patched. Well, as of right now, it's going to be some problems and stuff because they said it's not going to be anytime soon that they're going to have a patch, which that's a bummer going into the holidays. But I feel Feel like they need to go ahead and patch that up as soon as possible at their convenience but yeah though man uh we definitely don't want to lose that audience that online audience because of some bugs and some patches let's go to some of these comments on twitter aka x or whatever you want to call it all right let's see even on ps5 sometimes it's hard to get good matchmaking this is true i can't i can't lie about that i it was an issue until uh, I turned off like the cross region feature. Thank you so much, OMG. Your heroes, okay, that's a dope shirt. That's hard. Liam official, I like that shirt. Dios X, thank you. Is that is that really not Mitch? It doesn't work at all. On, duh. <laughs> Cause come on, man. Dead waffles. Of course it don't work on Xbox. Because cause it ain't out on Xbox yet. What you talking about? I duh. What you mean? I didn't realize it. What Marvel's Capcom Fighting Collection wasn't crossplay yet. Dang! So this, I this might mess up any future um, plans of having it crossplay. Dang, that sucks though. Let's see. Speaking of issues, anyone else having trouble getting the game to recognize that I'm pressing two and all three punch buttons together for supers? Each uh, individual punch seems to work, and I promise I know how. Let's see. Let's see, Shinku Hadouken with a full meter but it keeps throwing regular Hadoukens 80% of the time. I notice it, but for the most part, I just keep fighting. I just keep fighting because I don't have time to be focused on that one move. So I just try, I just move on to another move. But I noticed it though. Some of the moves were harder to do than normal for sure, you know, from what I'm used to as far as playing Marvel's Capcom. Let's see, JD, much love. The collection is so good. Let's see, Papa Honest, thank you. Yes, please fix the matchmaking on PC. Let's see, let this be the definite way to officially play Marvel's Capcom 2 on PC and maybe fixing the Sentinel sound issues and restoring, let's see, the Juggernaut glitch would be great as well. That's not happening, sorry. IAD Maniac, that's not happening. They already, no, they're not, I don't think, I don't see them changing back and bringing back the glitch for Juggernaut. That's not happening. He was nerfed for a reason. It's not happening. I don't think they're gonna do anything as far as like Sentinel sound either because it's not, I don't think that's a big priority right now. They ever think they're worried about the gameplay and online issues. Let's see, Chive Balls, fix it and add crossplay. Dang, so crossplay isn't on there. 
not having these two in 2024 is absolutely ridiculous. I gotta give them leeway. I gotta give, I gotta let them slide on this because it's hard to fix stuff like that this quick. Because like, it's, if you guys think that like, just, oh, just fix cross play just like that or add cross play, this is ridiculous. Like it's not that simple to fix. A game that hasn't been touched in what, two decades or three decades, really? There yeah, are two decades, sorry about that. Not three, cause I'm, that means I'm six years old, six, seven years old, whatever. Not, nah, but but two decades a game hasn't been touched or whatever as far as like editing outside of modders and stuff. Well, here are my thoughts. Um, the online issues, I think that's that's normal. I think that's regular. That happens, that just happens. Like, name the last game that you played online that didn't have some type of issues. Like, look at 2K. Every year 2K drops, it has problems online, and then they have to release patches. Madden. Every year Madden drops, it has problems. Every year Call of Duty drops, it has problems. As far as online issues, online, so they, they release re updates and patches or whatever consistently. Now with a game like Marvel's Capcom, that's an older game and has older technology, it's gonna be a lot harder to just fix stuff like that right away. Even though it seems like since it's an older game and it's simple, I think it's a lot more difficult because you're you're literally reordering the game. Re you're rearranging the game pretty much when you're fixing these things. I'm not surprised with the online issues. Well, I experienced some of them, but I get people's frustration. But that's today's video. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Um, if you've been experiencing some online issues playing Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. And if you have been experiencing online issues, let me know which game that you've had those issues with. Have you had issues with Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, was it Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter? Have you had issues with The Punisher? Have you had issues with X-Men Children of the Atom? Have you had issues with uh, Marvel Super Heroes? Let me know in the comments. But you already know what to do, man. It's Architect Mr. J with another video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, like, comment, share. Until next time, peace. We back, baby. We back. Let's do it. Punisher. All right, gang, man. Hey, I'm playing that. Next man shoot another Adam. Marvel Superheroes. Another classic. One of the GOATs. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, baby. All the superheroes versus Street Fighter. All right, Cyber Akuma. The GOAT. One of the GOATs. Marvel Scapcom. Oh, it's dark, Charlie. The goat of all goats, Marvelous Capcom 2, baby. Legendary crossovers all in one collection. Worldwide. All right. Across the globe. Let's go. Casual matches. Lobby matches. Rank matches. Oh, high score challenge. I got to do that. New features. All right, training mode stuff helpful. One button special moves. Save and load anywhere. 
New design documents and more in the museum. All right, gallery. Oh, it looks dope. Oh, I gotta check the music out. Marquee cards, so some of the move list. I wanna take you for a ride. That's live, man. We here. It's out now. Digital version available now. Physical version, November 22nd, 2024.